Hello and welcome to this recap segment from Sketch Date Live. If this is your first time, I want you to hit that subscribe button, turn on alerts, and come say hi on the socials. I am at sketchaday.com on Instagram, at Daily Sketches on Twitter, and I'm pretty easy to find on Facebook. Just search for Sketch Day. If you'd like to support what we're doing here at Sketch Day, there's a lot of ways to do that. You can sign up to be a Patreon, become a super fan at patreon.com slash sketchaday. You can check out the store where I have things like Photoshop brushes, brushes for Procreate, stickers, and other resources. And you can always donate. Link and information is in the video description below. Of course, I love hearing from you guys, so feel free to leave comments, drop comments below, and say hi. So, I feel like doing a ladybug. Maybe next, maybe on the next insect episode, we can do, do something else. And let's go ahead and start with two shapes like this. And just trying to, you know, again, just look at a picture for reference. I wonder if, is a ladybug technically a beetle? Feels, feels very similar. I'm not quite sure. Feels very similar. All right, thorax and head. So something like that. Make sure we get, get that nice round shape going. This feels a little bit off. Now it looks like a ladybug mixed with a hippopotamus, but that'll get covered up, so don't worry. Trying to figure out these legs. All right, I'm just gonna throw throw out some simple legs here. I guess you don't really see ladybug legs if you think about it, because they're so covered up by their enormous bodies. Or their mandibles, do you ever see those? Antennae, things like that. I guess there's different types of ladybugs as well. All right, so now I think the easiest way to do this would just be to kind of shade in the black spots first. Well, would it be? No, I'll do the whole thing red. Fortunately, I have this giant red Copic. Let's see if it's still juicy, it is not. So we're gonna recharge this guy. Let's see, oh, I have another one too. For 27, 29. You guys are getting a lot of uh, live marker ink refills lately. It's summer, I need to do some maintenance, basically. So let's put some ink in there, and then, like I like to do, put some ink on the tip itself. Just get it kind of started. Let's get it started. Whatever happened to the Black Eyed Peas? Do people still listen to them? Are they like a thing? I'm curious. Like, is there someone out there who's like, yeah, Black Eyed Peas every day? Are they not insects or are they, are they arachnids, Matt? Or ladybugs arachnids, my, my bad. One, two, three. It looks like they have six legs. Hmm. You let me know about that, because I'm not personally sure. I didn't mean to offend when a spider was requested earlier, but. I 
Now that you said it's funny how ladybugs get a pass as insects, I'm like, hmm. Are they not insects? Inquiring minds want to know. All right, I'm just using a Copic wide marker here. Mine are a little bit dry. So I'll do some work this, this weekend. I keep saying that, but I do need to do some marker maintenance. So got that, got that Budai in. Budai. Now let's get the legs. We'll start with cool gray five. Just so I've got some room to work with. Could probably go seven here. Cool gray seven with this area, but I'll do five to start. Oh, <laughs> the one, yeah, it's true. Like no one's like, get away from me ladybugs. They're cool. Very non-threatening. They don't bite you. Do ladybugs bite? I've never been bitten by a ladybug. You don't hear about ladybug poisoning, right? Death by ladybugs, it's not really a thing. So yeah, it makes sense to get a pass a little bit. I think anyways. All right, so like I was saying earlier, a lot of this I can kind of mask with the darker inks. So if you're strategic about um, how you draw, you can save yourself some time. by not having to have this perfect drawing up front. I'm not a fan of that center line, so I'm gonna try and modify it, which may end up coming back to bite me. We'll see. It's gonna take some work to get, get rid of that, but I think I can do it. With this handy red 39. Maybe a couple other reds here. I'll just scrub this out. Or strategically place some dots just to mask mask that area. All right, just like that. Keep going darker on this side. We're getting close to the point where I'll start using some black as well. So here, I'm just kind of trying to think of the light source, right? Top to the right. And that's gonna help me as I'm trying to shade and even put in things like shadows. You know, where, where do you put the shadow? If this thing's on a surface. And let's see, let's just have some fun here. Cause I haven't used this marker in a long time. So why not? It's a, <laughs> it's a very big, very big permanent marker. Okay, so I can use this for the dots. 
And like I said, I can I can mask some of the mess up on this line here. The tip on this thing's insane. I mean, the fumes are noxious for sure. This is a super color marker by Pilot. I'm gonna have to open a window soon or something. It's like seriously insane. But I'll just use it to <laughs> add some black here on our ladybug. I already have it have it uncapped. I might as well use it. I think I've lost half my brain cells today. Hopefully they regrow. Whew. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm just gonna open this door. That was intense. Now I remember why I don't use that marker very often. It's like insane. All right, now I'll just finish up the outline in the bottom of our ladybug. So once upon a time I was living in California, speaking of ladybugs, and had a garden, but we had tons of aphids. And I was trying to figure out, okay, how do I get rid of these aphids in a way that's environmentally okay? You know, I don't want to use pesticides in my garden, all this stuff. So I found out you could release ladybug eggs. So, well, ladybugs and then praying mantises. There's two stories here. So the first go, I was like, okay, let's, let's do ladybugs so i release all these ladybugs and there are so many ladybugs everywhere it was insane like hello he man the the how like everything the house like everywhere there were just ladybugs everywhere it was insane and uh that didn't work out the aphids were still there i was trying to grow kale still had tons of aphids and so finally i'm like okay Let's let's see what else we can do. <laughs> Is the pilot super marker included? No, it's not included, but I could think about it. Maybe I could make a, a last late minute addition. Um, so then I go and release all these praying mantises. And <laughs> so you buy this like egg sack. Like it's, it looks like this weird, it, it's weird. It's like this brown ball of stuff. So, open that up, or I didn't open it up, just put it in the yard and then, yeah, same thing. There's praying mantises everywhere, but they never got rid of the aphids. It was so unfortunate. That's my, that's my experience not using pesticides and trying to mitigate an aphid problem. <laughs> Only to have my yard infested with uh, praying mantises and ladybugs. Maybe the praying mantises ate the ladybugs. I'm not sure. Felix was just asking if the pilot super brush marker is included. No, but I do have a full set of markers, airbrushes, um, a set of, of different, a, a variety of pencils, pens, including what I think is Probably my new favorite pen, a B-Row style or ballpoint style pen that is pretty darn good. So you can check those out after the stream, probably a little bit later today. Got a few errands to run to, but hoping to release those. Okay, guys, a couple more texture things here. We'll call it good again. Just look for ways to, to listen, to be there, be a support, 
to your friends today, your friends that might be hurting or feeling heavy, um, given the current events, at least in the United States, and frankly, all over the world. I think, um, if anything, as I get older, I'm realizing how interconnected we all are. Especially in this time of uh, health concerns, shall we say. Um, it's important to remember we're all connected. So let's find ways to find ways to be good, be decent, help out where we can, and all that good stuff. I just realized the mic was in front of me the whole time. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have the ladybug just completed. We also did a dragonfly sketch. There's our beetle roach and grasshopper. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you got something from it. If you did, be sure to give me a like and subscribe, but more importantly, give back. So share what you know with your friends or someone else that you know that might be struggling. Come say hi on the socials. I'm at sketchaday.com on Instagram or at daily sketches on Twitter. And I'm pretty easy to find on Facebook. Just search for sketch a day. If you want to contribute to sketch a day and what we're doing here, a great way to do that is become a super fan on Patreon. In fact, we do a pre-show for Patreons where you'll have an opportunity to interact with me on a one-on-one -on -one more or less basis and ask questions. And I show a little bit more about life and what I do and all that good stuff. So if you're interested, hit up patreon.com slash sketch a day. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time right here on Sketch Day.